docked along the seashore of Western India, old rusty boats wait in turn to be torn to pieces. From cargo ships to oil rigs, they were all sold to the scrapyard for 400 euros a tonne. Workers take them apart so that every piece can be sold off. A bustling market in the hands of local businessmen, but a disaster for the environment. Rohit Sharma is taking us to see the shipwrecks up close. Now just look at this ship, it's Alaska. The original flag is, just now the flag is Hamas. The original flag, if you do on the net searching, is Denmark. Oh, there are a lot of boats like this? Yeah, yeah, all of them are Europe. The owners managed to bypass a European law requiring them to rid their boats of any chemicals before they're demolished by registering their ships in a foreign country ahead of their last journey. The boats docked here are full of toxic substances. This video shows workers dismantling a boat on the beach as waste falls into the sea. And the beaches look more like rubbish tips. This is a thermal insulator. It's very toxic for the environment. Because of this, almost all marine life has died here. Recent studies by the European Union have shown levels of cobalt, copper, lead and mercury in the grounds. Basically, these are all big, big, big industry. The local government rents out the beaches to the scrapyard. Together with taxes, it receives 90 million euros every year. Enough for it to turn a blind eye to what's going on. Journalists and foreigners are banned from entering the area. We weren't able to speak to any of the workers and government employees deleted footage from our cameras. So if I film here, it's illegal? Yes. And why? Because it's a restricted area. It is a security problem. Around 20,000 men risk their lives tearing apart unwanted European ships. They live on site, in slums made with pieces of wreckage, and working conditions are dire. My hand burnt up to here. It caught fire because of the gas. I was using a blowtorch to cut through a sheet of metal, and my hand caught fire. All I had was a sock on my hand to protect me. A risk he's willing to take for 150 euros every month. Here's my bed. And this is my kitchen. This is what I use for cooking. There's no work where we're from. So we came here and we risk our lives. But we have to feed our families. Last September, two workers died after falling 60 metres from a cargo ship. They weren't wearing a harness. Companies say margins are too small and competition is too high for them to provide better working conditions. 70 boats are expected to dock here next month, as international owners continue to take advantage of local regulations to get rid of their shipwrecks on the cheap.